Hey there everyone, this is your host Scotty Oka, and welcome to Heavy Rain Remastered on the PlayStation 4. Oh, that's a special, that's a special type of uh, fellow right there, AI I guess you could say, the way he walked. Um, actually maybe I should have asked her first. How long it was going to take before I was going to be seen. Oh, might as well have some fun but real quick. As everyone's going to ignore the ball thrower. Ignore the ball thrower. Ignore the ball thrower. Oh, I almost hit her. That would have been awkward. See, even he thought it was awkward. Boom, bitches. Come on. Boom, bitches again. Let's get that new high score. Wait, has he really done that for what? 21,112 times? He must really have a lot of free time. Oh, one more hit throw should be good enough. And now ask her. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll think of time for me, I guess. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. Oh, cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Hi! Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I know, I know. I am the man of the hour. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. Uh huh. Okay. Sure. Well, uh, something, something dark side. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him. You know how to tie a knot in a necktie. I guess. Yes, I can be because I am Norman Jaden. They're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country. What do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. Just like choke him up. I'm like, here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Well, thank you, I know, because I'm Norman Jaden, and I am an American badass. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Oh, I got an office. Press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Uh, let's go ahead and take him up on this offer and check out the thing real quick. Yeah, I I, I don't read maps. There he is. Okay. So I can't seem to go that way. Oh, there we are. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've actually, you know, seen this uh, before. The police are continuing to work around the clock. 
to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. Okay, what kind of questions are we gonna have? You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami kill. Can you be more specific? Uh, poop. An origami that right? Poop. Was found in the victim's hand when an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the origami killer would never be found either. I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end, he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes. Or he'll die. Whatever comes first, of course. Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps nope. a ransom note explaining his actions? Or anything like that? No. He has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims live in poor parts of the city. What I like how this is repeating itself over and over. We're just kind of hanging around, just listening to the uh, to the questions being asked. It is true that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation more difficult. Okay, so we'll stick around for these last couple. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with investigation. I don't know what you're talking about. You seem to be one of more. Yes, we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. We were planning to announce this in the next few days, but it seems that won't be necessary. According to certain sources, the town hall has been applying pressure to avoid any mention of a serial killer in order not to have an adverse effect on the mayor's election campaign. Do you have anything to say about that? No. Nope. Pure speculation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation, except to support the efforts of the police force, of course. Thank you for your cooperation. One question, please, sir. One last question. Captain Perry, one more question, please. Now we got a pretty good idea how the news reporters are handling this. Alright, time to go to Charlotte and have her take me to my room. Or, not my room, but my office. Yes. Office. Uh, let's talk to the, the, the Lieutenant Dick. Hey, Lieutenant Dick. I'm ready to start. I'm ready to start. Maybe I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. Okay. I know he was kind of trying to... Oh, watch. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Yeah, why not? Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Everyone's always throwing him fives. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Don't let there be glitches that cause my game to mess up. Don't let there be glitches that cause my game to mess up. Because that's the last thing I want to deal with. Just like my PS3 version. Thank you for showing me the office. And it's a... This is... This is my office? This is a, such a beautiful I'm office. Thank you. If you need anything, you know where to find it. Can I get a better looking office? Is that a request I can make? Okay, time to work. Uh, it's so dirty. It's like I'm in the janitor's closet or something. That poor phone! What did the phone do to you, man? What did the phone do to you? Can I take out those spider, those, those cobwebs? 
Seriously, cobwebs sometimes lead to spiders, and that's the last thing I want to deal with. Because fuck spiders. I hate spiders. And push! Just doing some redecorating, I guess. The Norman Jaden way. Alright, let's pull up the Ari and see what we can do. Step one. Change the office. Make it pretty. Like virtual reality. Um, let's try it. Ooh. Nifty. But not quite my style. Um, I think it was this one I really liked before. No, that was not it either. Uh, maybe it was this one. Bam! Okay, I could be wrong sometimes. I think it was probably, was it this one? I swear to God, if it was this one, I'm gonna be very sad. It was this one. Mm hmm. I had to skip over it because I was a dumbass. Okay, so this would be the it. And bam. 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 Thank you. Alright, let's look for the clues we have so far. Clue number one. Tire tracks. Okay. Killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Oh. Well, shit. Okay, what about this one? The origami itself. Something, anything, please. No prints or specific clues. Mm. Nothing much to go on. Just one origami store in town. Okay, what about the flower? Common species. That doesn't help much. What do you mean it doesn't help much? Oh, unhelpful the can that be? Oh. species. It can be found at any flower shop. That is common. Okay. The all the clues? Yep. Alright, what do we have next? Uh look at files. All right, let's look at the victims. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and 13. Damn. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Not a damn Bodies thing, huh? Three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Alright, uh... Analyze? There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the, uh... Timeline is right now. Killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. This won't make the geoprofiling any easier. Alright, then we'll go look at the uh, modus operati. Eh. 
Always the same ritual. Upper an origami Modus on the head, an orchid on the chest. Yes. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Oh. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. That's terrible. 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Oh, shit. All right, let's analyze it. Um, the killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. How do you know? I don't want to understand. How do they know that much? Oh shit. God damn it. You had one job, Ari. One job. Alright, so that's it. I guess that's really it, huh? Not really anything else to go on right now. Oh, okay. And there he goes, needing drugs. But we're gonna make sure he doesn't take those drugs. That's our that's our main thing. I gotta go wash my face. Come on. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. No, exit. Is everything all right, sir? And he walks away, like whatever. Oh, good. All right, that's good. Whew. We're gonna try to get the uh, trophy where he doesn't take them at all. That's gonna be kind of difficult, especially if I'm doing this and you know half asleep and everything. Oh, oh shit! Hi there. I was not expecting you to be popping up all suddenly. I forgot about that. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marshall. Would you please tell him what happened? It, it was this. Oh, she just walked. Okay, I whatever. Went to the park with my son Sean, we played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about. Um, I believe it was about 4.15. 4.15. Yeah, that's it, 4.15. I remember exactly because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. I believe it was beige? A beige coat. And a pair of pants. They were... Brown, I think. Brown pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Um. Stayed on the bench. I went to sit on a bench a little way off. I didn't notice right away the carousel had stopped. That must have been when Sean disappeared. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8:15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? 
Uh, I actually searched. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? I might as well tell the truth on that one. Sean is a sensitive child. Our relationship has been a little difficult recently. A little difficult? Are you sure you want to go with everything else? A little else difficult? Here? Any particular problems between you and your wife? Uh. My wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right. That's all the questions I okay. have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen... The sun's probably just run off and it'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the Argonne Killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Well, it's kind of nifty seeing two of my main characters kind of interact with each other. It's the ex wife. I am so. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're going to keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. Well, no shit, it's a possibility. What happened that evening? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Uh, Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Ouch. Sorry. That's not what I meant to say. Yeah, that is what I was meant to say. And that's why we're divorced. I better get my ass moving and save the child, huh? Progress the story a little. You know, like most people do when playing them video games. Yeah! Do -do 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 okay. What else do we have? Oh, is this scene. Alright, this seems gonna be tough as shit. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the Oregon killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. Um. Uh... I also I also I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Um, you may know something that could help save other people's lives. I was unable to save the life of my own son. I do not see how I could save the lives of other well, people. Well, give me information. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out and at least I won't go away completely empty handed. The back of the store to the right. Thanks. Get back to the store. The back of the store on the right. On the right? No, no, no. Uh, on the right, Scott. On um, the thank you.
Good evening, Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the registry. Oh, Don't okay. fucking try anything. Open the registry, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. Do not have the right to steal that money. I'm quickly, and by quickly, I mean I am so quickly trying to get there despite me being slow as hell. You're out of your fucking mind. Hey, you! Fuck. Come here! I said, come here now! Okay, 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 calm down, sir. Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Okay, see, I, my hands are up. My hands are up. Uh, try to keep calm. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah. yeah, I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. All right, just don't shoot me, please. Uh, what's your name? My name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Uh, help? You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Uh, reason. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Okay, 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 okay. Uh... Uh, effective now I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store My friend and I will forget about what just happened and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life What do you say? Nice try shit for a second there you almost had me believing all your shit And now get Nope too bad You really have to have me just kick your ass, huh? Bad. Thousand thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened. You um, probably would have shot you dead. That's probably what would have ended up happening. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. The locker ticket. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? And drum roll, please. It is an origami. Please. Take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. Did not help me to save Reza. But maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mr. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. Uh, that's a little early to say there, man. Yeah, the next costume that comes in is like, why is there a guy knocked down on your floor? Long story, long story. I can totally see that being a thing. There we go, Madison Page. Who waited so long to be here? Now we are our fourth protagonist after so long of waiting. <gasps> I 
Okay, and... Oh, there we go. Okay, we can do this. What time is it? Two in the... Uh, okay, almost three in the morning. Hmm. Okay, and this. Let's see what's on TV. Or she turns it off. Whatever works for her, I guess. Alright. And do 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 okay, what's this? Oh, I could just sit back down. But why would I want to do that? That's uh Okay, that's new. Alright. Let's go on ahead. Uh, what's this? Oh, okay. That's a thing. I'm trying to remember all the things. It's been a long time. Alright, let's have her go to the restroom because uh, more than likely she'll need to go after waking up. You wake yet? There be wake. Alright, uh let's see here. Do 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 Let's take a shower. Uh grab that. Oh, okay. I just do that. I find it kind of funny, the, vib the controller's vibration is happening right now during the shower. Because that's not what I think when I think of shower. Now, does he actually end up repeating himself, or does she automatically come out? Okay, she automatically goes out. Shake the controller, cause that's what I do. Shake the controller, because that's what I do. Shake, shake, shake the, shake the controller. I don't want to buy it. She has better bathroom animation than, like, Ethan does. Why is that? Checking herself out in the mirror for looking for stuff. Not quite sure what she's looking for in the mirror, but okay. What else can we do in here? We do laundry? Can, can we do laundry? No? Okay.
and do that famous scene from the trailers. sure I didn't open the fridge like at all ninjas the ninjas are after us Yep, totally ninjas. There's someone here. There's ninjas, someone in the I just apartment. said that. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Okay, phone is out of the question. Why do you make a bunch of noise just to get to the door? Oh! I just totally bashed my head against the desk trying to get the action done. Fuck you! Oh! Ladder to the face. No, 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 no. That one. Oh! Oh shit. No. Oh. Nope. Nope. Bam. Oh. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Run, bitch, run! Maybe not. Maybe, yes, I, I don't know. Ow. Ow. You just down them repeatedly. <gasps> and it was all a dream. <sighs> of course. Good dreams may come. And okay, we're back at uh Ethan. Alright, Mr. Ethan, what do we have to now? What, what do we have right now? You should tell me Ethan. What do we have right about now? Oh, Shit, they're at the house. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get out of that place so that way no one catches me.
or we look at that letter first. Whatever works. Okay, what does it say? When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children had never been seen again. Oh. Hey, a locker! 1803. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Good idea. But how is going to be the question? Very simple, Watson. I climb the fence. Okay, so apparently I can't climb the other fence and just kind of sneak my way around. Nope. I just kind of go out there like it's no big deal. And they never know the wiser. Bye bye, news reporters. Okay, so Walker 1803. Yeah. Much now. Gonna, gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't, can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. But you have to, Ethan, if you want to save your son. So come on, move your ass. Wow, you are moving like super stupidly slow mo, and I hate it. Too many people. Too many people. R1? Oh, R1. Come on, Ethan. I know it's a little bit tough, but come on, you can do it, man. Look, see everyone? Stopped in their tracks. Yeah. Everyone stopped in their tracks. See? And. Tag you're it. Oh, okay. Well, you're gonna. If you're not gonna. If you're gonna act like that, you know, we, we don't have to play tag then. Be that way. I won't play with you. Jason! Dad, where are you? Um, uh, alive? Jason! Dad! Don't run away from me, kid! Jason! Oh, you. You bitch! I was... I caught up. That's not fair. That's not fair! Jason! I'm pressing next to Jason! Jason! God damn it, Jason. Where are you? I don't see you! Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, okay. Look, I know I'm way too good at tag, but still, you don't need to fall over. Uh, or, uh, okay. Hmm. 
And that works too, I guess. Yeah! Okay. Luggage locker, so 1803. Line 18, box number 3. Can't talk to you? No, I can't talk to you. Okay, so line 18, box number 3. So, I believe... It's been a while since I've done this, so I want to say it's this way. No! Go this way, thank you! Jesus Christ. Why would you just... thank you. So say, please just go in a straight line and go in the direction that you are aiming at. Okay, that's 14. Aha! Do 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 do. What do we get now? What's our prize? Our prize is a goddamn shoe box. Hey, it looks like the same shoe box the uh, the store owner has or had before he gave Scott Shelby the box. Oh, we got a new place. 207. I always remember that. 207. Yep, we have a new place we stay at. Doing? VIP! And Lucky Locker! What is this? We open up and what do we have? Are you prepared to show the curse to save your son? Joe's garage and parking lot. 4988 Roosevelt. Okay. Revenue Lexington. So filled with grief and emotion. How far? Oh, it's prepared to save someone you love. Ah, uh, fuck. Five origami figures. Each figure has a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal the address. Okay. So we'll go with that one first, I guess. And I ain't stupid. Okay, so we are now going to our first challenge, I guess. And... 
Okay. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Uh, calm. The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Uh, geo profile. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, yes. I was able to isolate uh -huh. a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this uh, zone? A pretty huge fucking zone. At the moment, about ten square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be ten thousand people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? No, no, no. Stay calm. The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims are drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. Okay. I'd like to question them. Those two. Damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. Hey, hey, hey. Killer's out there somewhere. We gotta get off our asses and find them. We are doing our best. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Jesus Christ. Calm down. I came down. here to find a killer. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. With or without your fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? Did, yeah. The weather forecasts are right. Less than 72 hours. And now we're stuck with Detective Dick. Home, Jesus, he's Christ on the stick. Just let no me in. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside it. There's nobody home. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. No shit. Call the cops. That's why I call him Detective Dick again. Oh. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God fearing idiot waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. He said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist and I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Well, you are pretty much an asshole. Uh, 
Lots of crosses. The guy's taking a break from reality. Hold up here in this crazy apartment. Nothing new or interesting. It's stifling here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. Pounded by a persecution complex. Uh huh. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. Well, there ain't a whole lot we can do about that. Thanks. Will you stop breaking shit? Medication. This guy likes his medication quite a bit. Alright, what else do we have? More shut windows. More things. More shut windows. More religious stuff. God, the guy needs to do his dishes. He is a lazy bastard. And, uh, what do we have? Come on. Good thing. Thank you. He takes a little too much of whatever that's in there. Whatever he has, I want some too. Alright, so far nothing. Okay, he's taking way too much of that shit. Okay, so I'm hoping the internet will work just long enough that I can get this section done. What else are left to look at? I think I kind of got everything. Ugh. Come on, Nathaniel, pop in the door now, please. I'm waiting for you to do that. Open the door now so we can confront you and interrogate you and we have to take the deck doing this. Oh, wait. But what's this? I didn't look at this. Come on. Ah. Thank you. So he, that's where he sleeps. That's not very healthy. I'm waiting for Nathan to pop in any time now. Come on, please. Thank you, Jesus. It took him forever. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Hi, Nathaniel. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I meant why we're here to ask questions. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Uh, occupation? You, work, Nathaniel? you have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Then, how do you pay for all the food? Okay, uh, crucifixes? I own crucifixes. You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Okay, and uh, what's about you your were arrest? arrested in a case where a child disappeared from a park. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. I was in the park because God spoke to me. I was arrested because I am the chosen one. That's all. Okay, so you're Neo. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? We both know who talks to you. So he's schizophrenic. Don't speak that 
<clears throat> what does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. Who? He orders what? you to go and find new prey, Wait, does it? What are you doing? He needs more and more. Okay, you, you can stop now, Blake. No. Detective Dick, stop you it. Mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told That's you to go enough. find that kid Leave him park. alone. The voice is tormenting you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? What is your problem? Stop. That's enough. So you obeyed them to make them Carter, stop. Shit. You took that boy with you when you found him. Isn't that right? No. Stop. Please do something about this stop. now, Jaden. You killed them, he... didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you going to confess, you bastard? God damn. Damn, he is a dick. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I saw the to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He and I'm not going to shoot him because I know that he is not going to shoot. Christ's sake, shoot! Uh, be sure. Down, Nathaniel. Nobody here to hurt you. Put the gun down. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Team, you shall regret your father, the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Um. Were you sure? I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To get rid of the voices in your head. But you have to trust me. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us. Oh, shit. Come on. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire, and may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls. Jesus, that spirits. guy is crazy. Uh, calm Keep down, Jesus. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Back away, slowly. Drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Please do it. So that way I don't have any complications during this playthrough like I already have. Thank you, Nathaniel, for being me so far. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. And please don't give me any more problems. Motherfucker! In the name of the Lord. I exorcise thee, Satan. Okay, freak. The show's over. You're under arrest. God damn. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. A gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. Maybe not. But most of the time it helps. Oh, I am not doing too hot in this playthrough, but at least I'm getting, I'm getting somewhere. So I think this is where I'm going to end the live stream. So thank you all for watching. This has been your host, Scotty Yoka. If you enjoy this live stream, go on ahead and subscribe here to youtube.com slash scorpion420king. And uh, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.